Okay, so this question looks quite complicated. Actually, if you understand how to solve with algebraic fractions, it's it's actually not uh, so bad. You've just got to do um, use two different expressions, um, but we do it in the same way. So I'm going to start by just copying the question down really briefly. And there's a couple of different ways you could do this one. I think I'm choosing to do the easiest to understand, but if you've got your own method, as always, stick with it. Okay, I'm going to put my lines in. Probably only quite long lines for this. Maybe not. Right. So, the first thing to realise is if you see an expression in a fraction, put a bracket around it always. That's rule number one. So, what we need to do is times everything in that fraction by the denominators of the fraction to get rid of the fractions, right? So, when you solve equations, you need to get rid of fractions and you need to get rid of brackets. So, we'll start by doing fractions and then we'll be doing brackets. So I'm going to times everything by the first denominator. So x minus 5. So I'm going to times everything on the left hand side and actually times everything on the right hand side but it's 0 anyway so it's not going to do anything. So when I times the first thing by that I just end up with 2 which is great. The second thing, now when you times something, uh, when you times a fraction by a number you times the top of it. So it becomes 5 brackets x minus 5 the bottom stays the same, so it's just the x plus 5 that was there already. And then we've got 8 brackets x minus 5 equals 0. Okay, next thing we're going to do is times everything by x plus 5 to get rid of the other fraction. And we do the same to the other side again, it won't do anything. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to move to the left a little bit because I think I'll need more space. So x plus 5 this doesn't do anything, it just gets rid of the fraction it doesn't do anything to the top and then we've got this 8 which is already times by x minus 5 but is now times by x plus 5 as well so I'm glad I left a little bit of extra room ok, now we need to expand these so 2 times x is 2x plus 10 plus, ok, so this will be 5x minus 25 now this is actually um, a difference of two squares here, so I'm just going to leave it as eight brackets. So when you do this, it becomes x squared plus five minus five, and then minus twenty-five. Now the the two x terms cancel out, so we just end up with x squared minus twenty-five. So this question's been kind of nice to us a little bit, a little bit nice to us maybe. Okay, so we need to keep going. So I'm I'm just going to copy this down. Probably could collect these at this point, but I'm just going to expand that last bit. So it's eight x squared minus now four times twenty five is hundred, so that'd be two hundred equals zero. Right, this is starting to take form. So I'm going to collect all these. Now we've got one x squared term, which is the eight x squared. So I'm going to start with that. I don't know why I'm putting it to the left because we won't need all the room. Okay, let's have a look at the x term. So we've just got the 2x there. We should have another x term. Ah, we've missed this. This should have been 5x, shouldn't it? There we go. I was going to say, we, we needed two of them. Okay, so 2x plus 5x is 7x. Okay, and we've got 10. Take away 25, take away 200. So if we start at the minus 200, that would make minus um, 215. Let's just check that. So uh, minus 200 minus 25 is minus 225 plus the 10 is 215. So that works. Equals zero. Okay. Next, I'm going to get my calculator and just use the quadratic formula. So I'm going to press the fraction button first and then minus, and it's minus b, so it's minus 7. And I'm going to do plus for this one. Square root of b squared, so 7 squared, minus 4 times a, which is 8 times c which is bracket minus 215 close bracket over 2 times a which is 2 times 8 press equals and we get 4.77 and then I go back on my calculator change that plus to a minus so it'd be minus 5.64 um, the reason I know, knew straight away to use the quadratic formula is it kind of gave us a hint in the question to use two decimal places. 
Um, and looking at the number, that would be quite mean to try and find, even if it did factorise, try and find a factor of that. Uh, normally when they ask you to factorise, uh, A and C are a little bit nicer than that. Um, so those are our two answers. Now if you if you didn't know how to use the quadratic, quadratic formula, please type in on maths quadratic formula onto YouTube. There's loads and loads of videos um, on that.